And I was thinking about some of the things I was doing yesterday. And I understand you need to be able to hold that this horse in place a little bit. But I think it was the hackamore, we don't really do that. We don't really hold a horse. We move it, we move it. And so it's not a pulling device, it's kind of a lifting device, which is hard to do on the ground. But so I've kind of adjusted what I was doing yesterday to how I would ride it in a hackamore, which is, and I'm gonna work on him with the reins here. And it's just lift it, lift it, lift it, move him. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Lift it. Jiggle it. There we go. So if he gets over bent, I'm going to use a little on the outside rein. Let him go laterally. Let him come through. Here. And I have to always go back and think, how would I ride this, right? So if I was on his back, what would my reins be doing and how it, when I rode it? Would I be switching from one side to the other a little bit? Coming through. So there, I felt like I got a lot more lateral movement in his body without him getting up tight about it. So here. You see it's just moving up and down, right? And so this also allows me that outside rein allows me to move his hip away from me if I need to. Here. Good boy. I'm gonna lengthen this out a little bit. It's pretty easy to lengthen your reins, right? You just pull that loose a little bit. I suggest doing a little bit at a time. One of the good things about this system is you got a lot of leeway in how you're doing things. And sometimes what I'll do is always kind of check in with him a little bit and work on these other things that we started on the first day. There we go. So here. Movement. See how that foot, this foot's not allowing him to turn that way. But it's planted out there a little further, so I'm going to try to move it. There, let's see what that does.
You want to have quite a little trust in your horse when you're doing this, you know, make sure that they're not, and then don't do things that make them want to kick you, because you're, you're in a vulnerable spot. But I have pretty good control of both sides, so I can move in there, move him around. Little signals, right? Here, release. Here, release. I'm not going to pull him through. I'm going to wait for it. I'm going to drop it. Even if he doesn't give me what I want, I'm going to release it a little bit and pick it up again and move his body. So if he doesn't look enough, just like if a horse doesn't look when you're on its back, right? So if you can't get the look from the head, don't pull on its head. Here we have all the ability to move its body, right? So if, if I want the horse to look more, come towards me more, I move his body away, right? And so his body comes away, his head comes closer. I don't have to touch his head. Move his body over. He'll come closer. Here. We can do so much of this playing real easily. Yeah. So now I'm going to come over here. Now I'm going to hold a little on the outside rein. And I'm going to see if I can get him to take a little more lateral step. There we go. Little by little. Little by little. I can hold him up a little. I'll run into the camera. There we go. Hold him up a little bit. There we go. Yeah. 
Good job, buddy. I felt like I got a lot done through his spine today and bouncing and um, he's not too pissed off yet. So, you know, little by little, I'm going to call that good. He feels like, you know, things are becoming easier. He's not worried about things. And so I think this can build into a lot of cool stuff. Once again, you know, I just want to think about, use a little common sense in the fact that, you know, if your horse is nice, you don't have to scare it. You don't have to do a lot of these things, you know. Work with what you have. Don't work off a program. Work with what you have. And these horses will adjust. This horse is already telling me, he goes, you should ride me. He watches me ride other horses. And he already goes, if you rode me, I'd do so much better. But he's just too young. So we'll have to wait a little while. So we'll just have to play games, right? And keep it interesting. Change things up. You know, experiment. What happens when I touch this, right? I like to experiment. I think it's the, you know, just doing these different things. Watching, does he have a reaction, right? Come on. Come on. Try to instill those same reactions so when I ask him to go, I want him to go. He's like, well, I've manipulated my body all around. I'm really tired of going. So that's a good point to quit. You know, we kind of just want to work with what we have. Now he's still interested. Always leave him wanting more. You know, that's the biggest thing with young horses. I don't care. You can do this until they don't want to do anymore. You can just keep them interested. And so we have a long way to go with him. I want to keep him interested. Little games. Him and I are creating quite a bond. We like each other. And so... I'm going to do everything in my power to keep that one. Anyway, hopefully you guys could see some stuff and, uh, you know, just kind of some ideas on playing with them. Uh, might help you guys on your journey. I think this is important in all horses that they kind of learn to do these things. I want to build a strong foundation. So, hope this helps. Take care. We'll see you later.